I'm Paul Beckwith, and uh, I'm in uh, Winnipeg, passing through Winnipeg on my way east uh, to Kenora, and then a little bit past to uh, pick up my son from his tree planting. But I thought this stop uh, at the Red River floodway was well worth it, so let me talk a little bit about the uh, floodway here. So. Winnipeg suffers from numerous floods. So this is the, uh, specifically, this um, floodway is a diversion of water from the uh, Red, River, Red River. So it's an artificial flood control waterway that was dug out. Now, what it does is it takes inflow upstream of, of uh, Winnipeg on the Red River, and uh, when the Red River is undergoing one of its uh, frequent um, severe floods, then the gates open and water is diverted to this floodway, um, and it passes 47 kilometers along the floodway, which is 29 miles, and then it re-enters the Red River. So, you know, so the, the worst flood was 1997, 66,400 cubic feet per second traveled through this channel. That's 1880 cubic meters per second. So this floodway essentially protects the city of Winnipeg from severe flooding. It has a 4,000 cubic meters per second capacity. It was 2,500 cubic meters per second, but that wasn't sufficient because some bridges were overwashed, etc. So what they did, rather than make it deeper, they made it wider to accommodate, uh, to go, you know, not quite, not quite doubling. It went from 2,500 to 4,000 cubic meters per second. You know, when this was first proposed after the 1950 Red River flood, which was a horrible one, um, one of the politicians proposed putting it in, so we got the nickname of Duff Stitch by the opponents. But, you know, they went ahead with the project, they built it. It uh, was, it, the digging started in 1962 and continued, they finished it in 1968. It moved 76.5 uh, million cubic meters of earth you know, or 2.7 billion cubic feet of earth. And to give you an idea of the scale of the amount of earth moved for this project, it was the, at the time, it was the second largest earth moving project in the world, behind the Panama Canal, but ahead of the Suez Canal. And it's been estimated that since this uh, Red River floodway was constructed, uh, you know, it's been used numerous times. It's been estimated to have pre prevented about 40 billion Canadian dollars in cumulative flood damage over the years. And this is a national historic site uh, for Canada. So it's, it's a pretty impressive engineering feat. And uh, what you can see here at the end, this is one of the dams where the water, it's opened up and water comes in when the Red River is in flood stage, just these gates are opened up and the water from the Red River then will flow into this uh, basin, you know, and it'll flow through underneath the bridges and it'll flow up this way. Like I said, uh, 47 kilometers where it will then re-enter the Red River. So very, very impressive project. And, uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, I had no idea it was of the scale that it is at. I mean, second in the world when it was built, behind the uh, Panama Canal and ahead of the Suez Canal. Okay, thank you for listening.